Hi everyone, it's Kronos and in this video I would like to be talking about which dragon is better. So when Dragon's Manifest first came out, that probably became the strongest water Maggie. But now with subju Subjugating Blade, I think that title may be gone. So, so, so many Crimson Dragon Flames. <laughs> okay, so you have Dragon's Manifest. Summons 8 sea dragons dealing water damage, decreases water defense of enemy. Subjugating blade tears at water tears at enemies with a cross-shaped cut for water damage. The first strike deals high parts break damage and the second strike raises fatigue. Both of them they look super nice, the Maggie icon. I sort of prefer the dragon manifest icon because of the back blades thing. But yeah. So first of all, let's... Okay, I think the best place to do this might be in the arena. I mean, that's where I can show one of the biggest differences I've found. So I'll show that in the arena, in the fire camp. So we have... I'll show at Wicked Carnival, I think that's where I can show best. But anyway, this rhino is pretty quick to kill if you can get the pierce in. If it doesn't run away. Like that. Should be around there, yeah. Yeah, so you get a lot more damage if you shoot from the head, but... Now oh, this is taking some time. Okay, so the dragon's manifest definitely looks a bit cooler. The Maggie icon. So now then, this is where I can show best. So I'm just go dragon's manifest. So that take that took about six seconds to fully cast, right? And I'll quickly go retry. And it didn't deal enough damage to kill Carnival. Now then, subjugating blade after I kill this rhino. Once it loads first, please. Thank you. We start with the rhino. You get the double peers. You roll out of that. And then you just shoot the forehead. Okay, there's something I'm missing because I can usually do more damage, like kill it with three pierce shots. So for Dragon's Manifest to fully cast, it takes six seconds. That took like two seconds, not like three or four seconds. And it was enough damage to kill Carnival. So what I really like about that Maggie is the fact that you can this might be a fast time so I might carry on is the fact that you the first shot will break parts so or it's a high chance of breaking parts meaning you have a higher chance of the second second slam down hitting if you understand I'm not enough to kill in in Aruba, sadly. But if you, since the first one has a high chance of breaking parts, yeah, this is no good. It's less like if, it's less likely for the behemoth to hit you after that because the if the parts break, if you break the behemoth's part, they will stagger back or whatever. So you also want to be careful of that. Because if it might if it staggers back, then you might miss your next hit. So, on fire behemoths, I would definitely say that subjugating blade is a hundred percent better. And now I have loads of shadows, so we'll go on a behemoth like Anubis. Okay. 
Anubis against Anubis. I mean, I'm nearly an Anubis. I just need my dog ears. But I have a feeling fight on any fire behemoth, subjugating blade will be better. Anything else? Dragon's manifest, but you never know. I have a friend that can lock down Anubis in two shots, but... Okay, once... Okay, so Dragon's Manifest also charges a lot faster. Keep in mind it's not Awakened or anything. So that did like 169,000 Okay, that, that's not fair because my, um... It had the water damage weakening thing. Okay, but... That was Dragon's Manifest on it. I'll show the damage numbers up here somewhere soon. But uh, another good thing yeah, about Dragon's sword. Manifest is it's ranged. So for people that use bows, it's ranged. You can stand back far away when you cast it, unlike Subjugating Blade. You have to be quite a bit closer. Okay, now let's go Subjugating Blade. Yes, yeah, so I would say dealt around 120 to 160,000 damage. No, 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 a lot less. Around 100,000 damage. 100, 120-ish. And just remember, it's 8 shots, not 10. Okay. So, if, if it comes to recast... Dragon's Manifest is that much faster. It's about two to three shots faster. Okay, so from here I'll probably lock down Anubis. Okay, once it's done, the lockdown, you go boom. Wow, so I think that dealt 150,000 damage. -ish. That was 75,000 damage each. Now Dragon's Manifest. Yeah, so 8 times 100... 8 times 14,000, that's 80... 80,000... 100,000... Like 110,000. So even on Water Behemoths, Subjugating Blade dealt more damage. Okay, now let's try the range so will it reach okay so the range is about the same as altar blade so it's pretty close range okay let's just get rid of you now so i think on behemoths with lower elemental just lower defense in general subjugating blade will do better Okay, I don't know what's a high defense behemoth. Um, okay, wow, I wasn't expecting Subjugating Blade to do that much better. Because Subjugating Blade did 150,000. And Dragon's Manifest, at most, did 140,000. Okay, let's just try it out on one last behemoth. Let's try Lightning Behemoth. We'll go... Saran's annoying, Leviathan is annoying, Galdon is, has the shield, he has the lock, Reaper is that, I don't know what's a not annoying um, Thunder Behemoth, they all move around a lot, Nura has that cancel, but if anything it's a buyer, you're the lucky one that got picked out, okay so this time I'm pretty sure that dragon's manifest will win i hope i'm not wrong but the combination of using dragon's manifest and then subjugating blade is even better because it weakens the elemental defense and then you go smash with an even stronger attack oh this thing luckily pierces a lot so it's easy to charge Maggie. I forgot. Like, those almost all the time never hit you, so I completely forgot to dodge it. Okay, so now Dragon's Manifest. So that did like pun like 80,000 ish damage. 
Okay, now we have to wait for the defense to go away. Okay, now then, let's see what you're gonna do. I wanna do it when it's not moving. So now. 30,000 and 15,000. Yeah, so on a buyer, Dragon's Manifest dealt a lot more. So even when the tail is the weakest point, I still would have only dealt 60,000. Okay, so now, Dragon's Manifest one more time. I got dealt 80,000. But then with the water debuff, you go boom. There you go. So that's why I think it's a pretty nice combination to have the two of them together. You lock it down, Dragon's Manifest or whatever, subjugating blade, boom. But anyway, on so on Behemoth, oh, it gives out the plates now. On Behemoths with higher defense, I don't know how you tell, I'm guessing it's by like the size of them, because the buyer's a bit big, then you will probably do more. I also have another really good example. I thought those were all gone. So, one last, I guess, check thing. On the straight, on Fufu. It's pretty surprising, yeah, on Fufu, but... I can show you guys. I think Dragon's Manifest did better on Fufu than on then with subjugating blade okay that's what that's why I sort of came to the conclusion that the behemoths are a bit bigger they take they have a higher elemental defense or whatnot the best thing about dragon's man if so as you can see the amount of health it has probably did like 120,000 damage. Okay, retry. And I would say the few bad things about subjugating blade is that it's close range and if the behemoth moves you won't well, hit it. With dragon's manifest, even if it moves a bit, you will still hit it. Miss the tail. Where's the tail? There you go. Now then, subjugating blade. And go. See, so dragon's manifest got the health down to like where it says stray. So that's why I sort of came down to the conclusion that it, the bigger the behemoth is, the, or like the, see, that fluff thing probably raised the defense and that's why if there is a way to check then on higher elemental defense and higher defense behemoths, dragons manifest. On lower ones, subjugating blade. Well, yeah, I think Subjugating Blade might have taken Dragon's Manifest out of its top spot. And if you guys want me to make, like, a top review of other element, other Maggie elements, please let me know in the comments below. That was all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.